having uh, got to 25th place on the one-year ranking list. And Jack Lazowski in eighth position. Of course, just Saturday he was playing in the Masters semi-final. He lost 6-0 to Mark Williams. Bit of a bruising experience. Would you say, though, Ken, it... Well, that's not a bad start, is it? <laughs> Great pot. One. Very soon. I think if he does, Dave, I think, you know, the floodgates could open up. Look at that for a shot. <laughs> what a shot that is. Six. As I say, eight. So it's something that he has to sort of work on when he gets to these. Hopefully... For 11. him, it will open soon. Oh. Oh, this could be unlucky. This could be unlucky. <laughs> oh. Okay. Ah, well, <laughs> well, but from the edge of 10. Ooh. Jack Lizowski, 26. Very Table left of the blue it might be his next shot. If he hits over hits it, could be on a red into the right corner. You don't mind over hitting that shot because you know you've got a couple of reds into the right corner. He's had this sort of little strut around the table which uh, makes it very watchable and of course he's won sixteen, so you know he has pressed on. He hasn't rested on his laurels, he's had a, a pretty very dangerous player. Thank you on. I mean, these two guys are... Yeah, it, it, it can only really be one sort of match, can't it? They're going to... to win the opening frame. I guess Milkins has to hope there is a slight three. hangover just two days ago. Look, he's just disturbed the two reds. 51. I'm quite sure pots into the right centre. Oh, nicely played. 59. Good shot, that. Needed after the black. It's one thing he's not really done this season, he scored only a great response once the chance came, because it didn't look like it would. 67. Not trying to take the red out, it's just going to play red to try and keep the break going. Yes, all the way. Well done. <laughs> oh, needs to slow down cue ball. Or keep going one or the other. Well, a very swift kill, Rob wasn't it? Was asking Rob Bilkins when he was just 10. He got 80 points start per frame. And they played for a tenner and he said Rob used to take his pocket money off him. Well, tonight they're playing off levels for five thousand pounds. He's well favourite in this match for sure. But sometimes when you're playing someone from your home club or someone that you grew up with, you know so well. It's gone wrong. And I think you could see definitely some signs of influence from Peter. I'm not quite sure what he, what do you think, Dave? But I think over the last maybe yeah. six months or so, I think his experience. But the signs are good, definitely. Particularly on the the tactical Four. side. And that was a lovely little shot there. Oh, he's leaving the, the black with lots of top spin here. Oh. Not very hard. Didn't hit it with it. As much top spin as he needed. Well, that's better. He decided against the plan and found a nice red through the gap. One. People you know. 
24. Tough because you want to do so well. But that was a lovely little positional shot to get on the pink there. 31. Back in 2020, at the end of 2020, during the lockdown, 39. Milton Keynes, Judd Trump, it's 4-0. He had back-to-back -back centuries, so he played well that night. 47. Well, just playing for the loose one. Back, I will put him 62, so he only need that. Oh, that's a push. Zelsky, 55. Little things that probably Peter Rebden needs to, uh, I'm sure we'll be talking to Jack about. Little things like that, just little concentration bits where he... But the task is probably that one, and that's the other side. That's what he can do. And this is a beautiful positional shot. Lots of top spin. I don't think that black will go on the spot. bit hard. And he needs to cover this red and he has gone. That's okay. Yeah, it's nicely done. Check the Zell's Q1. So, much taller order, and Lazowski's potted that one, and the frame will be his. One. Check Lazowski won. Especially in the Tour Championship, which is the final event of the Players Series, that would be a massive achievement to play in that Five. in March. Ten. Positional play as well. If they keep going like this, David, we're in for a real treat tonight in this match. Yeah, it's been quick, fast, 11, stuff, hasn't it? The whole match has taken... ...dominating the second frame, having lost the first. Got close a few times, but finally got over the line completely unexpectedly. As I say, he'd only won three matches all season before the tournament. He'd had various other issues as well, but... Oh, lovely pot. One. Yeah, it came at a really good time for him, didn't it? They into the bunch on the side. Oh. Definitely wasn't on, so somewhere near the green pocket you would suggest. Well he's tried to get it between green and brown. It's pretty good. No, oh, he's done well. Played out with lots of side. Well, it's not the natural game of either, but safety so important. We saw that last night. Here we go. Yeah, no, oh, very dangerous. Oh, well, well, look what he's left. Let's play for the pink. One. A little bit short sure of pace. Eight. Let's play this nicely. And the Welsh Open is the final. Yeah, and of course, one of those so. events that you mentioned, the shootout, I mean, that suits Robert Milkins. That was a nice shot. Just to, It's an event where you need to think quickly. 28. So this is the key shot. 
coming up here. A little bit of pressure on it. No problem at all. And it looks like he's top side of the blue. Yeah, excellent. Well played. No hesitancy yes. whatsoever. This is what Jack Lazowski watched all those years when he was growing up. At the moment is what Milkins is doing. 47. So 75 remaining. Oh, 54. mistake. He might get a... Okay. Distorted Milkins, his position. Cute angle. Oh, he's missed the pink though, and he may take the yellow off the cushion. Doesn't want to do that. Oh. Milkins, one. Well. Mm. Pretty close. Bit of cat mouse going on here. The other one, that he, well, Jack Lazowski needs these reds out in the open. Should he get a chance? Yeah, good shot, but now a chance. A couple of these reds out into open play. This looks pretty good. If he gets a full ball kiss on the brown, excellent shot. It's a very good line. Yeah, well played. Off this top cushion, cue ball. Oh, it's gone right through the gap. Has he got a good line once again? Needs to go with the cue ball behind the brown. Maybe a gap. Yeah, and that is effectively for the front. Zaski is going to play on. Robert Milkins, five. One. Have a chance if he could pot another red on the black. Pink or black will do there. Trying to take it down to one red. Ah, that doesn't yeah, help though. Okay. And in fact, he's nodded his head. So it's a quick fire Thank stuff. This just 42 minutes they've been going. Day one of the World Grand Prix for the top 32 players on the one-year ranking list. Because it's the one-year ranking list, there's a few people who've not made it. Most notably, of course, John Higgins, who. Uh, in fact, well off 32nd place. Play the cue ball back into ball, trying to hide the reds again. It's pretty good. That's very good. good. Shot. You don't get much time, do you? It's a really short sprint. No, that's right. You're, you're on. Dead straight. Ah, oh, great shot. Ah, oh, that's just a wonderful shot. Nine. 
lovely shot. Good recovery, that. 16. 24. <laughs> well there. Jack Lazowski. You just can't hit the ball better than that. Almost all the balls in open play, just from that one beautiful positional shot, split on the ball. Yeah, it was uh, wonderful, wasn't it? We've just seen here, once again. Forty-six. And be clinical. In position, this way you've got to really keep your concentration. Fifty-four. Under tight control, you see so many players get 61. Take their eye off the pod. And of 62. Course, the, yeah, he needs another red to this black. 54. And they, yeah, Sorry, he's not podded it. This is what we were saying. You know, just a little bit of concentration. Well, you've got to really concentrate even harder. Okay, one red safe on the left hand side cushion, but. 54. A lot of work to do, though. 54. After putting this red on the black, can't be straight. Good shot, and how's the angle? Cushion forest. Yeah, lovely. Well played, Robert Milkins now. <laughs> but he didn't put it away, he missed frying ball. And now he must be very concerned. A big moment in the match. The cue ball for the green. Yeah, well played. 47. Very confidently indeed. Cost them dearly, you would feel. 54. Making it. Jack Lazowski was a ball away 65. from levelling up. Wonderful clearance from Robert Milkins when he was at a low ebb. So uh, he would have enjoyed that last uh, frame, Paul, the way that Robert cleared up. Yeah, it's good to see him here. Lovely man. Benefactor to the game here in this area, particularly that South West Gloucester Academy. What a wonderful facility built. Then Milkins already lining this one up. Not to be. A few errors and giving his opponent. Oh, well, that's one of the f Robert Milkins one of the only balls he's missed, I think, this evening. Robert Milkins. Zanski needs to demonstrate some of the steel that his good friend one. Judd Trump displayed yesterday to get that win against Williams. Well, ah, oh dear. Wow. This is the chance you want for. Could have had a look at the pack a little bit, maybe more if you're being. Seven. Great chance here for Robert Milkins. Just to get over the line. Fifteen. Winning in Gibraltar. Now suddenly centre stage again and clearly enjoying himself. Giving them great confidence, but he's. It must be maybe even put yes. a bit more nil to Zhao Gudong. Thirty. Oh, well, well. 
Robert Merkins, 46. Let's cause him to miss. Well, you feel like he's in an awkward situation. <coughs> Milkins in the last frame. Can Lodowski return the favour here? The match looked over. At the Masters last week from Story, he didn't take it. Trump won the tournament. Try and get the cue ball over the black. Missable this. Ah, oh, well played. It's not too bad. There's plenty of room behind it. Gets a nice angle on the black. He can... Wonderful. So Beautiful good. shot. <laughs> Tell you what, these but Milkins winning on the black in the last frame from 69 behind. 42. Oh. 49. 54. In it goes all the same. So Milkins stole the previous frame. chance to seal the match but now he's still involved in it will he get another one <coughs> will he get a better one the thing is Milkins has played really well he's only actually well full-blooded but One. Bad chance to settle the nerves. That would be ideal. No. Seven. So yellow. No, he's going to play for the loose one. Well, I thought he had a good angle there. Oh, has it missed it? He's missed this one. From yeah, the cue ball. 16. Jack Lazowski. Can he pounce? There's the cannon. Yeah, it could go wrong. It wasn't ideal. Expect him to get it. But... Jack Lazowski, eight. Well, after the couple of frames, that, and of course we're getting towards the real business end as well of this of this match. Quality in there, and it's been quick fire as well. Yeah. Average frame time just over thirteen minutes. Seventeen seconds. I mean, that's rapid. Takes me that just to chalk my cue, so maybe. With the pink here on the way back. He's played it nicely on four cushions. <coughs> Trying, but maybe 3 1 to Charlie Gong. 109 from Robertson. Left centre pocket. Oh. Oh, lovely pot. Very, very good. One. Lovely shot. And wonderful position. Chance. Bring it to us. 
Four. And he'd like to take the red that's closest to just drop the black in. Cleared up for 3-1, but that clearance of his well. own maybe has turned things in his favour. Playing in full flow like this, he's just got... 20. Wonderful. And that's exactly what he's done. This is where he's at okay. his best. And if you could just cut out a few of those little errors, it'd be so hard to beat. Great response so far. So he's going to need those two loose reds. We could be going to a final frame decider. Four. Determination to put these away and another little check. Great response this. And 4-1. Open the door and Mazowski now looking the stronger man. Left the double. There is a century. We may have one now. I had a force red into the corner. 77. And it's paid off. Eight. For a decider, it's been an absolutely belting match. He had the chance to win, as I said, 4 1. This has been a barnstorming break. Contribution. We were hoping for a high quality match, that's exactly what we've got. And this is the decider 3 3. Milkins led 3 1. Mazowski has stormed back. Good 60 clearance and then the 102. Space around the back of the black. Oh, wonderful shot. Wonderful shot from Jack Mazowski. So he gets first chance. Yeah, there's a little grimace on the face of. Robert Milkins as he went. Five. He's really pulled himself together after failing to make it 2 2. Miss frame ball, that's all gone. Just to hold the cue ball for that red, didn't have to play the cannon. It's just. Yeah. Now we I went into the pack a few frames ago. Seven. Yeah, and even though this is where he has to hold his concentration once again. 33. The way he's won the last two frames, he's completely changed his whole mood in the match. 41. Yeah, and the good thing about the tracks. Yeah, now he's got to judge a little cannon off the reds. Have a look at this. And he's judged it beautifully. Good shot. Telling shot. And has he done? He has. 57. Rob Milkins missed unexpectedly. And since then, Lazowski has been sensational. 65. Big question was asked. 60 clearance, made a wonderful. He didn't get on his own case. 71. And he has played three wonderful frames. You know, he hasn't done anything wrong. He's only broke off in this frame. Had his chance. 88. And from then on, he sat in his chair. Seven. Jack Lazowski of his talent and what he's capable of. He's disappointed to miss that, but he's delighted.